Evil Channing Tatum? All right. You've piqued my curiosity. What is going on everybody? Tom Chattelbash here. And if you're new to the channel and you love movies, definitely hit that subscribe button. This way you get fun movie content every single week. And not only that, but you don't have to remember how to spell my last name. It's a win for everybody. So now let's talk about Blink Twice, the directorial debut from actor Zoe Kravitz, a very exciting looking debut that stars Channing Tatum. And Blink Twice tells the story of two young women who are invited by this tech billionaire, played here by Tatum, to go to his remote island that he bought in order to have like this extended vacation, just have a great time. And what starts out as an idyllic vacation slowly turns into a nightmare that they can't seem to remember everything about. Now the idea of Channing Tatum playing an evil tech billionaire, love that idea. And also the concept here seemed very interesting, very fascinating. Uh, and I was really interested to see what Kravitz could do behind the camera. Fortunately, I think that Kravitz is absolutely a director to watch, and this is a great debut feature, even if it's not perfect. Now, there's a lot about this movie I really enjoyed and found to be really distinctly different when it comes to being in this psychological horror genre. I think Kravitz has a very unique directorial voice here. It's a strong directorial voice, the kind of voice that feels like it's actually been around for more than just a debut feature, which I think is a huge compliment to her skill here. I think there's some really thoughtful, well-orchestrated scenes. I think there's a great use of these locations. I think she really knows where to put the camera, how to really get the audience inside the heads of these characters, not only utilizing the cinematography, but also the stellar sound design in this movie. The sound design is a character in and of itself, and I loved how she utilized that throughout. And she's really great at building up the suspense, tension, and mystique having to do with what's going on in this island, because things are slowly going wrong. Things just feel off, and you feel just as like these two main characters do, where yes, everything seems great on the surface, but deep down in your gut, you feel like something is so wrong wrong here, but you can't put your finger on what it is and why. And Kravitz has also assembled a really terrific cast here. I mean, not only do you have Channing Tatum, but you have uh, Naomi Aki, I think is how you pronounce her name. You have Adria Arjona from this year's Hitman. She's been a, a star on the rise. Christian Slater, Simon Rex, uh, Haley Joel Osment. I mean, you got a really stacked cast here. Gina Davis even pops up as well. And luckily, she really knows how to utilize all of their respective talents really well. And everyone's dialing in perfectly to the tone and atmosphere of this film. And not a single weak link in this this cast. And I think Aki in particular is phenomenal. I think she sells that gradual, you know, decay of her happiness really well as this movie goes on, especially as things become more and more horrifying and she starts to remember some pretty traumatic things. And I think Arjona is just as good, if not even a little bit better in this film, especially as she becomes more integral to the plot and to the story and what's going on. I think she's fantastic. And the pairing of those two together is dynamite and they are fantastic to watch in this movie. I loved seeing them play off of one another, and I think they're both equally good in this film and just absolutely stellar performances. But I have to say, I was really impressed with Tatum's work here. I've always enjoyed him as an actor, especially as he's leaned into his comedic sensibilities, but I love how he used his charm and movie star magnetism as weapons here, as like sadistic weapons, especially when, you know, his nice guy facade kind of slips as the movie goes on, as you can tell is gonna happen in the trailers. There's one scene in particular even where I think it might actually be the best acting of his career so far, and taps into a performer that, honestly, we've just seen the tip of the iceberg, I think. And I think Kravitz has really unlocked something in him here as an actor that I want to see a lot more of. And if you've seen the movie, I think you know exactly what scene I'm talking about because it's genuinely chilling and just really great work from him. And as for the story itself, I do like the way it unfolds. It's a bit of a slow burn, probably too much of a slow burn, but I think that the payoff of what's going on and why everything is starting to feel off, I think that's satisfying, even if the execution isn't as good as I wanted it to be. I mean, I really think the story is interesting and I love how it taps into the themes of, you know, repressed memories and trauma and how that is interwoven into the story and what's going on on this island. I think that is really well done. And I think Kravitz handles that facet of the story really well and gives it the time and power that it deserves. However, there are a couple things that I think hold this movie back from being a truly great debut. It's a good debut, but it could have been so much better if these things were a little bit more fine-tuned. I think that the editing in this movie is a little bit awkward at times. Sometimes I feel like it could have used a little bit more propulsion and a little bit more energy, especially in the climax when kind of all the shit hits the fan and we know exactly what's going on. I feel like the editing could have shifted gears into something a little bit more energetic and something that just moved a little bit better because it still felt kind of sluggish even after we learn all this crazy shit and, you know, things really start to go sideways. That's when I felt like this movie should have shifted gears into something a little bit more intense, but 
Yeah, you know, it, you gotta take your wins and your losses here. And I also think that the setup of this movie takes far too long to kind of get cooking and to get to the good stuff because we've all seen the trailer, so we know that it's going to go sideways at some point, but I think it takes a little bit too long to get there and things start to feel a little bit too repetitive, a little bit too redundant, where it just kind of got a little bit frustrating where we know where the story is going to head, but of course these characters don't yet and we're just waiting and waiting for the other shoe to drop. But other than that, I think this is a very strong debut from Kravitz. I think not only is she a talented actress, but I I think she's a great director to boot. I think she's got boundless potential as a directorial voice, and I'm really excited to see what she does next as a director. I mean, she also co-wrote the script, so she's obviously a solid storyteller as well. I just think next go around, we need to make some different editing choices and maybe en enhance the storytelling just a little bit more to really give it the emotional impact that I think it could have had here, but it it wasn't as powerful as I wanted it to be. I felt like by the time this movie ended, I should have felt something a little bit more intense, a little bit more visceral, and I didn't, and I was a little bit bummed by that. Those small gripes aside, I did enjoy Blink Twice quite a bit, a lot more than I thought I was going to, and I think, if anything, see this movie for the performances and just the great direction cinematography from Kravitz. I think that alone is worth the price of admission, and it's just a different, original kind of film, and we need to support those kinds of movies, and I'm always happy to see a movie like this, and see one like this that's actually good. So that's my my take on Blink twice, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you've seen the movie, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. If you liked it, didn't like it, thought it was just okay, let me know. And also let me know what's your favorite Chatting Tatum movie. I feel like that's been an interesting topic of discussion lately with some of my, <laughs> my friends. I'm definitely curious to hear what your choices are in the comments. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.